so Jenny's just getting ready and this is our second full day here at Universal and I have a lovely view again this from Aventura you can see Cabana Bay just over there um, and yeah today is Express Pass day so we actually uh, purchased the, the Express Pass Unlimited for Universal and Islands of Adventure so whereas yesterday we kind of broke the day up and we did the first part of the day in Islands of Adventure uh, then came back here, chilled at the Aventura pool for a bit and then went to Universal in the evening. We're kind of doing a full park day today. I'm going to take it a little bit slower, but obviously we've got the Express Pass. So hopefully that mean we'll get on um, the rides we haven't got on so far. I'm wearing the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants t-shirt I brought with me today. Um, proper Universal gear. And I've also got this hat that I purchased yesterday for, I think it was $25. Uh, one of the shops in Islands of Adventure. Uh, but yeah, we're good to go. Um, I think we're hoping to kind of stay later tonight and be able to go to the um, uh, go to Islands of Adventure and see the, like the firework display that they have at Hoggles Castle as well. Maybe try and get another return time for Hagrid's tonight. Uh, I want to do Dudley Do Rights in Islands of Adventure. I want Jenny to do Kong. She's never done that before. Um, I think we'll probably then try and do Rip Ride Rocket in Universal as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, not got any kind of dining reservations of any kind today, so we'll just uh, take it as it comes, see what we fancy, maybe try some of the food booths or, um, or yeah, we'll just see. But very excited for our, our second full day in Islands Adventure and Universal. all the vintage universal oh, stuff like here stuff. like this t this t-shirt is awesome love this t-shirt good jaws say twister on there good sit you sit up good stay let's say you've got a little bit of a shame of yourself cover your eyes cover stay <laughs> cover stay <laughs> good you, there we go let's say you got feet and tips Good girl, Sandy. Very nice. We got one more for you. Back on that mark. 
Good. So say she's got up here in your back on your mark. Stay. Foot. Foot. Stay. Enjoyed Jurassic Park as well as a classic. Um, yeah, we'll probably do a little roundup when we're back at the room later, yeah. but we just wanted a little video in the park. Um, I think we're looking sure. a little bit sun kissed today, except for my streaming eye. A little bit. <laughs> She's watering, I'm like this. Yeah, it's very busy. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later.
another long day comes to an end. Uh, hopefully we got a fair amount of footage of it, but um, yeah, we had another day in Islands of Adventure and Universal. We started Universal this time, and then we headed over to Islands of Adventure. Um, it was our Express Pass Unlimited day, and we used that to full effect. I mean, we managed to get on 13 rides today. Despite that, I think we paced it quite well. Obviously, for Jenny, we need to you know, make sure we're not um, overextending her too much. And although we are both quite sore now back of the room, I think that we took it at a pretty decent pace. I mean, we went in a little bit later into the park today. We did uh, Rip Ride Rocket and Despicable Me, Me, Despicable Me Minions Mayhem, which uh, was much better, actually, than I thought it would be. I'd never done that before. Rip Ride Rocket is obviously brilliant. Um, grabbed uh, breakfast, as you probably saw in um, the Today Cafe. Um, really good food in there. Um, nice little kind of environment, like nice little environment layout, whatever. But um, yeah, service was a bit slow, to be honest, and it does get very busy in there. So just be warned of that. Um, and it wasn't the most clean either. Um, but anyway, it was really good. Um, by clean, I just mean there were like some loads of crumbs on the floor and stuff, which they took a while to clean over, but that's being really picky anyway. Um, so yeah, we, we enjoyed that. And then we went through, uh, I can't, can't necessarily remember all the rides in order, but I know we did like E.T. and Woody Woodpeck a bit. Did that um, Animal Actors uh, live on stage show thing, which was really good. Did uh, Kang and Kodo, so Simpsons ride as well. Looked around there, we looked in the Quickie Mart. Um, we then grabbed some popcorn, some of the patatas bravas from the Mardi Gras stand. Uh, met a few characters. Um, we met Patrick, which was really good, obviously, because I was sporting the SpongeBob t-shirt today, and uh, he liked that. Um, we also met um, Donkey on our way out uh, of Universal. Um, he was very chatty. Um, it made, it made us laugh. We said to him that we missed his attraction. He said he missed the income from it. So he was, uh, he was very witty. Um, so we, we really enjoyed meeting him. And uh, we also met Bart and Homer. And then headed out of Universal, went into Islands of Adventure, where we did one of my favourite rides in the whole park, Studley Do Rides, Ripsaw Falls. And that was the only ride actually today we did twice, using the unlimited aspect of the Express Park Pass. It was a 90 minute queue for that. And we managed to get on pretty much within five minutes. We then did it again, took about 10, 15 minutes. So really good on that. Did Jurassic Park as well. Um, we ate dinner uh, at there's the Captain America diner in the Marvel thing. We just wanted something quick and easy and uh, yeah, chicken tenders in there were a real winner. And then we kind of just got a spot for the, the lights show um, on the Hogwarts Castle, really recommend that. It's quite short, but it was um, yeah, really good. You get to see kind of all of the houses, the colors and a couple of fireworks at the end. And we were walking out of the park and we were just kind of taking it all in, seeing it all at night. And we thought, we're done, we can't do any more. But we couldn't we couldn't resist uh, the idea of both the Doctor Doom's Fearful and Hulk at night. And although we're feeling it now and we were shattered on the bus coming back to Aventura, we don't regret it because both of them were absolutely amazing at night. Like the, the view you got from Doctor Doom's Fearful was incredible. Um, and that took our ride tally to the day to 13 rides, I believe. So real, you know, feeling really good about what we did today. Luckily, uh, tomorrow we've got a slower pace day because we're doing Volcano Bay, getting up a bit later. Probably just going to spend most of the day on the Lazy River, if I'm honest. Probably won't get a load of footage from that because we've obviously not got GoPros or anything. So we'll just kind of hopefully get a little film of the volcano and stuff like that. And we'll, again, talk about it at the end. We kind of think we're doing this more as like a monta montage style um, vlog. So I hope, like I say, this is the first time we've kind of done this. Um, so I hope it, hopefully it all comes together. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But really really enjoyed our first two days we were actually saying it feels like we've been here a lot longer but in a good way um <clears throat> just because of how much we've done um so like i said we've got volcano bay tomorrow and then before we move over to disney in two days time we've got uh kind of like a morning at universal where we're just going to go over the things we've not done so spider-man is the main thing that we've still not done so we want to go do that islands of adventure uh, we'll probably look in some shops, especially around like Hogsmeade and the port of entry bit, because we both like to do that. We might get a return time for Hagrid's if we can, um, and then we'll probably head over to Universal. Um, I want to see the Bourne stunt spectacular, so I definitely think that morning we'll be taking it slower, because in a weird way, it's going to be like a rest day, because it's like just a resort transfer. And that evening, we have a meal uh, booked at California Grill, which I'm really excited for, um, our first Disney dining reservation of the trip. But... Uh, before we move on to Disney, I just want to say Universal so far has been absolutely amazing. It's really lived up to expectation. It's rivaling Disney for me completely right now. Not that I like to compare the two. Um, and I definitely stay Aventura 
again you know i just feel really lucky i think we both feel really lucky to be able to do this um <clears throat> to have been able to come over here after obviously such a tough couple of years for everybody and um you know just just to have this opportunity not only just to you know you're lucky enough just to be here but then to have the experience and have the days we've had here just feel very very fortunate today and, and tonight and uh yeah it's just good to document it really so um i hope the the footage and everything has worked okay um probably will record again tomorrow obviously like i said volcano bay and then in the evening we're eating at hard rock cafe on uh, city walk which is world's largest hard rock cafe i've never been to it jenny's been to it before and loves it so one of our favorite restaurants in orlando uh, and then after that we'll probably look at maybe doing the, the putt, putt putt golfing that they've got there and also check out the a uh, couple of the shops especially the main universal store and if we are still feeling okay because it will be a quieter day tomorrow i say uh, we'd also like to check out bar 17 i think it's called bar 17 or bar 21 i keep getting it wrong it's the top floor of aventura and you can get some good views there so i think that'd be a nice way to round out the sort of final night um and yeah so we'll hopefully get some footage and see you tomorrow so we're going down to breakfast now but it's volcano bay time we're uh, literally i think about a 10 minute walk if that maybe a five minute walk to um to the entrance gates so you just have to go around the back of our pool which is really handy so i love volcano bay i've only been once but I love Typhoon Lagoon, but probably Volcano Bay, the best water park I've been to. So really excited for today. Um, so we're going to go down and grab some breakfast and then be on our way. film on rides obviously volcano bay we've not got gopro so uh, i'll do my best to get some footage now uh, before i put my phone in the locker etc um really lovely day great water park lockers at the back of the park in it's the, the rainforest park it's called um just because i think it's a lot quieter we have early park entrance I'll put the photo away in a second uh but yeah i'm sure i'll get some footage again later too So we've got lunch here at Volcano Bay. We've got one of the longboard pizzas. And then this coconut crusted fried chicken. That's it against my arm. Yeah, it's long. We didn't want to be too much. We're eating a hard rock tonight, but uh, we've got a bit of a feast here and some mango slaw there too. So we're going to tuck in now. Here is where we're sat.
we're back from our day at Volcano Bay. It was a lovely one, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice day. It was quite chilled for Jenny and uh, I managed to do a few slides as well. We had really nice lunch there, I thought. So um, apparently I have very bad hay fever in uh, Orlando at this time of year. So I took it easy. Um, I was really struggling with my eyes and my like, breathing. The pollen count was quite bad over here at the moment. Yeah. And uh, we actually tried to go to the like, guest services first aid bit to see if we could get some med medication for Jenny's like, uh, allergies I suppose and uh, they said that they've been you know themselves been suffering so yeah so unfortunately obviously Jenny didn't go on as many slides as she would have done but we had a really good day anyway. I did you? buy um, the only product they had in their store which was um, a Claritin, a Claritin I think it's called for kids. That's it. Um, yeah. It was for over twos and I'm over two mm -hmm. so um, I think it helped a bit. You got the kiddie stuff like our sun cream. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah anyway we, we I had a really good day I managed to do one of the trapdoor slides um, I did. The, the, we did the Krakatoa Coaster, which oh, was, amazing. It was amazing. If you go, make sure you get Tapu Tapu'd. I'm going to make that into a verb, Tapu Tapu'd. Tapu Tapu'd. Make sure you do that Straight very away. early because I think it was about midday and the wait time was 280 minutes, which, I mean, you do the maths, that's like four hours or we one, four hours, you know. So. We were probably in about 15 minutes before um, like mm. general admission and we tapped as soon as we could. And we had about a 90 minute wait, which wasn't too yeah. bad, obviously, at that time in the morning. And uh, But really good, that uh, Krakatoa Aqua Coaster. I did one of the drop slides, the serpentine ones. I've done the big one. Uh, the Kokoro one before, but I actually prefer the Serpentine ones. I thought they had because they, they kind of drop you, but then you go into a slope kind of thing, which is really cool. Um, and I also did one of the uh, actual like drop slides that comes out into the water quite a few feet above. Uh, and then obviously did, we did the Fearless River together. And then at That's the end, cool. we finished the day with uh, a little bit around the Lazy River as well, which is really cool. What's that cool. one called? Uh, it's called the Winding River, Winding, something, something, something Winding like River. Winding, something. Uh, they got some weird names of Volcano Bay, because obviously it's kind of like Polynesian themed, I think, which is really cool. Um, and then we finished today, we bought a towel, which we'll show in another video or something, I'm sure. And now we're all, uh, yeah, brushed up, ready. Um, for Hard Rock. For Hard Rock Cafe in, uh, in City Walk. And you've got your... I got this rock. in um, Barcelona quite a few years ago when I went to see Guns N' Roses. Um, so when I went to the Barcelona Hard Rock, I thought I would get this headband. You're a big fan of thing. Hard Rock Cafe, aren't you? I've only been to one in Germany and in London. So this is my first time going to the Orlando one, which is the I've... biggest in the world. So I can't remember how many I've done. It's either 10 or 12. But we'll get some footage from that, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.